Hello, I'm Ben Loma, graphic designer with Iconics Imaging. Uh, today we're going to look at creating half tones with Corel Draw, Corel Photo Paint, uh, for use with sand carving. Uh, let me give you an idea of what we're going to be doing. I've prepared this uh, this file, and I'm going to open it with my Windows Preview. Okay, so this is the idea. It's taking that ship a ship image and turning it into a half tone. Um, the half tone here is just a, it's just a series of dots, black and white uh, image that kind of come together and form an image. Okay, so I'm gonna X out of here and I'm gonna open up Corel Draw. I've already got it running and. I'm going to create a new document, so I'm going to go to the File menu and click New, which is going to make a letter size uh, 8.5 by 11 document, which is fine. Um, next thing I'm going to do is go back to the File menu and click Import. Um, and I'm going to scroll through and navigate uh, to where I have my original image. And it's, you can click anywhere then and drop it right in the document. I'm going to scale this down, of course, uh, to make it fit better in my uh, work area here. And just keep scaling it down. Move it up a little bit. Uh, make it a little bit smaller. Okay. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is right click on this picture and from that flyout menu from the top we choose edit bitmap this is going to launch Corel photo paint um, uh, let me maximize these windows so we can see better what we're working on okay so first thing we need to do um, with uh, any picture like this is take the color out of it so we'll go to the image menu choose convert to grayscale and loses all the color, and that's perfect. So next, we're going to go back to the image menu and choose a resample. And make sure that this uh, maintain aspect ratio is checked. Uh, we want to change the resolution from uh, its original to 800. If you got that set, you can click OK. Perfect. Now it's mouse wheel out so we can. Uh, see this better again. The next thing we'll do is go back to the image menu and convert to black and white. And this is going to bring up uh, another dialog here uh, with kind of a original view and then a halftone preview. Uh, what we need to do is make sure the conversion method is set to halftone. If yours isn't set there, just change it um, with that menu. We change the shape from square and choose round instead. Uh, we need to set the degree. Uh, and you know this is you know I'll let you decide what you feel is good. I think 45 is fine. And next we'll change the lines per inch to uh, anywhere from 35 to 65 is fine. That set down. We'll click OK and we get this ugly looking kind of scrambled up, but if you scroll up you'll see that it's uh, that it's fine. The uh, I'm going to click X, it's going to prompt us to save these changes and we'll click yes, we want to save those. And now we're back in Corel Draw and there's our halftone image. So we're going to drop in some text here quick. Um, we're doing Edmund Fitzgerald. Um, this is hypothetical uh, project here that might go in a memorial for the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Iconics Imaging is uh, located in Duluth, Minnesota on uh, Lake Superior, so this uh, is kind of an appropriate theme for our our locale. Um, and Okay, I'm going to grab my type tool again, and I'll type out November 10. 1975 and I'm going to change this font again uh, to something that I like a little better times bold that looks good okay move this in place and uh, voila it looks alright I'm going to drag all these down 
kind of a little bit more centered in my page. Okay, so um, oh, we we could go right to print from right at this point, um, but we really want to. I want to show you guys that uh, this is actually going to look appropriate. So I'm going to export a TIFF. You want to make sure TIFF is chosen. Um, it's a you know one of the, uh, very high quality image file. It's uncompressed uh, by default here, and I'll change this name. I'm gonna name it Fitz, um, and I'll click export. And these are fine. This make sure that the resolution is set to 800 when you export these previews. Um, I'm gonna. If you're a transparent background is checked, just go ahead and uncheck that. We don't really need a transparent background for this. And everything else looks good. I'll click OK. And it's thinking a little bit. And okay. Now let's just uh, go ahead, and minimize this, and I save mine to my desktop. So we'll uh, there's fits. And we'll go ahead and I'm going to open this again with uh, the photo viewer in Windows. And voila, we scroll up again or zoom in. Rather, uh, we can see that there we've got my halftone image. Looks appropriate. And it's a little, it gives a little better idea of what uh, you're working on. The, it, it displays a little better than Corel does. So that about covers it. Um, any questions, go ahead and comment on this post. And uh, we'll see you next time.